ይቻላል ይሁንም 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 We had a beautiful press conference. I thought it went so well. Everybody made statements and we moved along expeditiously. So that's what we do when we get there and then we'll go around. The second thing we need to introduce is uh, Reverend uh, Jock DeGroff, who is our media coordinator uh, here. Uh, and maybe uh, we might have time. Are we, why don't we just at least introduce ourselves very quickly so we get to know who you're walking beside. I mean, you get nervous, you don't even know who you're. Mr. Rivera from House of the Lord Church. Archbishop Taylor, the Divine Order of St. Anthony. Uh, Greg Smith, Mother Amy Zion Church. Uh, Charles Curtis, Mount Olive Baptist Church. Imam al Hajj Talib, Abdul Rashid, Mosque of Islamic Brotherhood. Herb Daughtry, National Minister, House of the Lord Church. Imam Sullivan, Konate, Masjid Aksa. Jacques de Graff, Canaan Baptist Church Hall. Jill Schaefer, Presbytery of New York City. Bernard May, North Church, man. coming back uh, across the street is the United Nations. This is where the leaders of the world meet. Right here. Right over here is the assembly hall, delegates lounge. Here. These are all the spaces. And there's a remarkable resemblance to the EU, EU U, European Union in Brussels, Belgium. You think the same guy, uh, woman, or whoever did it. Uh, was on the same page. So this is the United Nations. They meet here, the world leaders meet here uh, to decide. So we come here because we want to make, have an impact on the world leaders, right? right. Uh, because they can do something about the fall. Save the people of the world. 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 Now turn around and point up here to this building, right over here. That's right.
Now, I know that there are those who say, but let the Olympic Games go on. But we say, no human rights, no Olympics. No human rights, no Olympics. No human rights, no Olympics. Now, there are those who say, but we have been practicing how to run a long time. There are those who say that we have been up and down the icy mountains learning how to ski a long time. Please let us have games. And we say to them, but there are issues far more important than your running and your skiing and your standing on your head and your throwing balls. Human rights is more important than the Olympic Games. Not only that, but we say to those who say, but let us practice our games. We say, well, if the games were held in hell, would you go there to run? If the games were practiced in hell, would you go there to ski? If the games were practiced in hell, would you go there to throw a ball? Then why are you going to China? Why are you going to a country that deny human rights, that is guilty of supporting governments that are killing people all over the world? If you, until China extends that human right, stay out of China. No ball playing, no skiing, no jumping, no standing on your head in China until China let freedom rain down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. No human rights. 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 God bless you. Thank you. For this uh, press conference today. Uh, we're concerned about the uh, situation in Darfur. The UN called it the worst humanitarian crisis uh, in the world today. Move Reverend Shuttles away. Thank you. Uh, I'm delighted to be here with C. Herbert Oliver, who in Birmingham himself was not only one of the civil rights leaders and people who stood for what God's humanitarianism we want to be among the people, but belong to the movement himself and suffered even as I did, perhaps not as much, but every soldier is a soldier if he's in the army of the Lord at Amen. this time for right and righteousness. Amen. I wholeheartedly support the Presbyterian, Reverend Oliver, the group that met last night, and I was pleased to speak with them, and I'm here to support them in their effort to help bring allegiance, help to the Darfur situation. And I take the position that not only the Presbyterian, but all of the churches, all people who believe in God and righteousness and God's sacredness of life, to intervene in the Darfur situation. Thank you. Reverend Herbert Oliver, uh, interim pastor at the at the Covenant Presbyterian Church in Manhattan. I'm very honored and proud to be here to support the effort to divest from Sudan because of the genocide that has been going on there. Some 400,000 people have lost their lives in, in an ungodly erasing of the original people of Sudan. And we, we call upon Sudan to cease the killing we call upon Russia not to support Sudan in supplying arms to Sudan. We call upon China to cease its support of Sudan and the genocide that Sudan is engaging in. We call upon India to cease its support and all nations to cease their support from a genocidal nation. Good morning. I'm honored and delighted to be here and I'm very proud 
to have these distinguished people behind me to support uh, the Darfur, the people who paved the way for the uh, million of people to live free in this country. And we know that the strong people behind me who advocate for people in the past, now they're making the future. And I know that uh, this uh, strong group will change the dynamic in the ground by sending a strong message to the Sudanese government and to the uh, Chinese government and Russia and to the other people around the world that the world will not keep us silent and people in Darfur will not be forgotten. Thank you. Our executive pastor of First Baptist Church of Crown Heights, also serving in the New York State Assembly representing the 43rd District in Brooklyn. I'm here to, uh, to stand with Reverend Herbert Daughtry and these distinguished uh, members of the clergy, uh, my colleague as an elected official, this great leader, Malcolm Smith, the minority leader of the Senate. And we're here, just as we uh, stood before over the past several months, to appeal to action to be taken in the Sudan of Defer. We know that 2.5 million people have had to flee. Over 400,000 have already lost their lives. We cannot tarry any longer. I've introduced legislation in the New York State Assembly for the New York State government to divest. What is happening in Sudan is absolutely an atrocity. You heard Assemblyman Kamara talk about it. 400,000 lives have been lost there. They've been killed. 2.5 million displacement. It is obvious that if we do not advocate and make sure that divestment of any uh, assets, any type of cash capital that is brought on from India, as the Reverend said, China, United States, we will sorely be doing and aiding to the actual uh, killing and raping and pillage that is going on over there.